Anyway, every year it's the same. Mom buys into this whole magic of Christmas thing. It's like she's a kid again and does loads of really weird things. Three years ago, she wanted real candles on the Christmas tree. The firefighter made it clear that this wasn't the cleverest of ideas. Two years ago, Mom dressed up as Father Christmas to surprise me. But it was only when she reached the third floor that Mom suddenly recalled that she was afraid of heights. <laughs> the cool thing is the firefighter's our friend now. Then last year, she wanted us to have an original Christmas Eve in the snow. Uh, but the only original thing was that the door got stuck. It was ten below freezing and everyone had gone away for the holidays, even Mrs. Shortman. To be honest, I just don't know what Mom would do without those fire guys. So this year we're going down the simple route, just good Christmassy food and a tree. Okay, let's go over this. What do you have to do? Buy a turkey from the butcher, chestnuts from the food store, a chocolate log, and get a lovely Christmas tree. Perfect! Right, now remind me again what you must not do. I must not let myself get spellbound by the magic of Christmas. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, are you sure you can do this? Of course, don't worry. Okay, see you back at the house. Okay. See you. Buy the turkey. 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 Yeah. Buy the turkey. Buy the. Oh. <laughs> Thank you and Merry Christmas. On my wages, you're kidding me. Mm? Look, Robert, I found something for you. It's the new book by Dr. Johnson. Understanding your partner's needs and male's perspective. Josh, you buy that mm? for me and I'll never speak to you again. Fine. Don't get so worked up. I wasn't going to buy you anything. Good. Keep your money for the lawyer. Mm. Hey, hi, Mina. Hi there. Uh, hey, Mom, Dad, if it's okay with you guys, I'm going to hang out with Lou. See you back at the house. Mm? Mm. <laughs> so, what's up, Mina? Mm, my parents are getting divorced. Mm? What? Uh, well, that's not very cool. I guess I'm gonna live with my mom, but that means I'm not gonna see my dad every day. How's he gonna cope? This is the worst Christmas I've had in all my life. Mm. Well, I've just got one thing to say. Hmm? Hmm. Hot chocolate. Mm. Wow, cool! <laughs> mom! What are you doing? Um, just looking. It's a very interesting store, you know, Lou, for Christmas decorations, if we needed them. But we don't. Mm, right. The food hall is that way. I'm going home mm. with Mina. <gasps> you know, Lou, I feel kind of dumb. Here I am talking about my dad missing me if he moves out. All the while, you don't even know yours. Mm. Well, look on the bright side. At least mine will never know what he's missing, Mina. So tell me, how, um, mm? you've never really told me your mom's life story. Mm. Well, it was a long time ago. The mobile phone hadn't even been invented back then. <laughs> Mom was 15 years old, and uh, let's just say she didn't really see eye to eye with her folks. She felt misunderstood. <laughs> That's tough. So she wasn't exactly very happy, you know. But then one day on the way to school, her whole world turned upside down. It was one of the most earth-shattering pieces of news since the invention of the sewing machine. The Rock Dogs were playing a concert at the Mortabus Town Hall. Wow! You're such a fantastic team! I've trusted you through everything! I knew there'd be a day when you would walk away! You treat me like a dog! My life is full of sorrow! When I think of tomorrow, I bump like a dog! Scientifically proven, all the great love stories are told in songs. The seagull finds a mate, and the dolphin does the same. The cow and bull unite, and the turtle doves coo. Oh. What on earth is all this racket? You're nothing but a 60s beatnik who'd be better off doing your national service. And as for you, get back to school! 
Well, I don't know the ins and outs, but to cut a long story short, Mom didn't exactly follow her mother's advice. All of a sudden, the pair of them upped and left for the city. Then what? Hmm? Wait, I'll go make us a hot chocolate. Hmm? Wait a minute. Don't move. There we are. Next, please. Next kid, please. Hey, over there. Huh? Look. Super Dario. Where? Where? <laughs> and so then what happened? Come on, tell me. Wait, I'm getting to it. Once Mom had left Mortibus, she could at last start living her dream life. Wow! They set themselves up in a real snug love nest, making the money they needed from their love of music. <laughs> la, 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 la. <gasps> wow! It was a really beautiful life. And then one day, Mom discovered that she was expecting a baby. Wow. The problem was that Loverboy didn't really feel ready to become a dad. <laughs> that was the end of a beautiful love story. <laughs> Mom did feel a little alone, but there was absolutely no way that she was going back to Mortibus to have her dad treat her as a... Lazy couch potato! Or my grandmother scream at her that she was just a... Good for nothing! So suddenly, she just plucked up the courage. <laughs> Amazing Amanda, screen number two. Small fries, large cola, and supersized burger, 1580. Well, it's quite simple. A continuous function that is strictly monotonic with given interval A and B, where F is less than Y and F to B is greater than Y and only has a... So as well as her part-time jobs, Mom also started studying again, which needed a lot of energy. Oh, but she did it. And then she mm -hmm. was told she'd passed her exams on the day I was born. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, just one more shot. Listen, lady, I've already taken 28 for you. <laughs> Go on, it's Christmas. Enough. Listen, it's nearly 7.30. So you guys, do what you want, but I'm gone. Where? To the North Pole? No, of course not. To Bruce Street. My kids are waiting. It's Christmas Eve. Oh, no, no, no! Christmas Eve, the turkey! No! So, after that, what did your mother do? She continued working. <sighs> the Ride of the Living Dead, screen number one. Okay, a large fries, a small cola, and a double burger, 1350. Let's start with some basic vocabulary. For thank you, you say danke. And for a lot, you say fila. <laughs> Mom continued her studies at college. And she even managed to get an arts degree and became fluent in Soldavian. Vielen Dank. And then she got a job as a translator. And because of that, we were able to move here. Oh. So there you go. Even without a dad, Mom and me haven't done too badly. Don't you think, Mina? Mm, that's true. And I'm sure you'll get through this. You'll see. Mm. Thank you. Mm. So, ready to go home and celebrate Christmas? Mm. Mm-hmm. Kader, huh? got any Christmas trees? Well, I've only got Norwegian spruce left. It's expensive, but comes straight from the Transylvanian forests. It smells like the old traditional ones. Perfect. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Please don't tell me you forgot to get the shopping. Uh, no, no, I've got uh, 10 mackerel mashed potatoes, and um, uh, crackers. Sounds good? Mm. And look, I've got the most amazing tree. Uh, there we are. Mm. Oh. Okay, so it's missing a few needles. It still smells like Christmas, huh? <laughs>
just to make me sad It was a long, long time ago Now I feel the pain come back again What I know is that I miss you too Myself and make a stand. Don't want to grab me without you. Love you more than words can ever say. I can't myself and make a stand.